yards apart, but we've got five yards apart coming back. You can really set up the cones in whatever kind of distance you want. Uh, if you want to work it in a tight area, bring it in. If you want to work in a larger area, take it out a little bit. But I'm going to give Ricky some directions. Uh, and then he doesn't know when I'm going to throw the ball. He just is going to do what I'm going to tell him to do. In this, he should get a little bit tired, but in everything, he's going to try and be crisp when he's making his moves, and then the ball comes. When the ball comes, everything else stops. You focus on the ball. You meet it. You greet it. You welcome it in. You tuck, and then you run. So we'll be working it from a DB angle. So if he's looking at the ball coming this way, then he's going to run that way. If we were working receiver, the main thing that we would change is, obviously, we're not going to run routes that look like this. But we're going to take the ball, catch the ball, run, meet, gather, uh, greet it, gather it in, welcome it in, and then turn it up and run the other other way. So watch this drill. All right. Back, up, back, side, diagonal, back, side, up. Good. He'll take it, he'll come, he'll make a move. And again, the difference between the DBs and the receivers on that is the receivers are going to catch it and go a different direction.